Hello again, everyone. Um, I hope that everyone who's got a, a Gummy Upon ad Advent calendar for the first time this year is enjoying our little journey towards Christmas. Um, I, I, I just love these things. I just absolutely love the delicacy, the detail. Oh, I just, you know, I'm excited. So here we are on day 10. Day 10 already. I've been trying to have a feel, but it feels like the... I can't, can't, can't tell quite if it's one or two in here. It, if it's two, they're kind of close together. Well, the answer is to just open it and find out, isn't it, really? Oh, my word. We have got a cradle. Isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. Oh, new baby card. That's lovely with a little canopy thing. Let me cut them out and just see what they look like. Always my first answer to everything is cut things out and, and see what you're going to do with them. Let me try turning this the other way up. Oh, I'm trying to keep my plates flat by turning them all the time. Right, let's take a look at these. So sweet. And here's the cradle. A rocking cradle. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. So what am I going to do with this? is so sweet. Um, again, I think I'm going to do a bit of cutting. Let me just cut, let me cut another. I think I'll use my smaller, smaller plates for these little things. There's one, there's two other empties. Right. I think if you can use lots of different parts of your plates, that also helps to keep them flat. Someone said to me, how do you keep your plates flat? And uh, it, it, to my mind, it's keep keep on turning them and um, make sure you use all parts of them, not just the centre. Right, let's have a look at this. Now, what am I going to do? If I had to stack this a little bit and have this bit higher than that bit and these um and should i color it or what it's always difficult isn't it to know what to do for um baby cards especially if people don't know what the gender of the baby is going to be um in that case i tend to use um sort of crafty color you know that a crew i think they call it um, I use that colour and maybe a sort of um, soft turquoise or yellow or something. Let me find a couple of bits of craft there. I think that's too dirty looking. This one probably is is okay. Let me cut one out of this and see see which part we would like to use from it. Right. There we go. Just cut it up a little bit and see what we think. If I were to cut this bit off. There we go. Oh, there's a bit in the corner here as well to cut just there. There we go. Right, if I had the, that part...
so it was white inside. If I pop this heart out, we would then have, we could have a white heart showing through. The legs don't look right. I think we need another layer so that the legs are further back. So let me do another one of these. Let's have it this side over here. There we go. Now I need to cut the legs off this one. As well as the top part. There's one. It's only tiny snips to separate these. Okay, so if that goes on there like that, so we've got that's better. That's better. So the, the legs do look further away now, don't they? Not quite a straight line at the bottom. I'll just smooth those little tag things out. Okay. And I need the heart out of there. Right, and I'd like the heart to stay in there, so I will put a little tape on the back. This doesn't doesn't break as easily as the last reel I had. I think I have to find myself having to cut it. Right. So the heart will stay in. These will go on the top. Yep, that's fine. So we'd have white inside and I just wondered about whether I should do that out of um how many have I got? Do that out of vellum so it looks more sort of diaphanous as it were. Um, let's put all those bits of that. I don't think I'm going to use them, but um we'll find a bit of vellum. Okay, okay. There we go, let's cut this out of vellum and see what we think. Might work, might not. Ooh, I don't know if I like that, I'm afraid. Let's have a look at a card front. And I've got a couple here. I've got a smaller one and a larger one. What do we think? I like the idea of the felon, but I don't like that. Would it be better on top of one of those? I still think it looks a bit alien. I don't like that. Um, can't really decide. How about if I tried um, just to have the top bit and the bottom bit in the craft card colour? If I cut those bits off, and then, um, I wonder what that would look like. I don't know. I'm going to reserve judgment, I think. Let's have a look and see. Right, if I cut this top bit, let's just stick it behind the vellum. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, there's the little top knot. A bit of glue. Even the glasses on for this, it is quite small. Which way up does it go? The pointy bit to the right. Okay, okay. This also would give me a place to attach the vellum. 
that wouldn't show through. But I've got glue on there, haven't I? But this dries pretty much clear once it's all over the place. Put that there. That might work. Let's cut the bottom bit off. Let's just we'll reserve judgment for a little while. Okay. Let's take the bottom bit on. There we go. It wants to turn itself over, doesn't it? Then might be glued. I fancy the idea of this vellum, so some of the colour of the crib will show through, you know, make it look it's the realistic touch. Let's, let's glue the, these layers together. I think we'll have a hole there at the bottom for... That's the first one, isn't it? That's right with the legs on, but we'll get rid of this little bit there. And then this is the next one. Okay. Right. We'll get there in the end. Right. There we go. Oh, that really has, has added dimension, hasn't it? I think this is going to be a bit small, this card base. Let's try the, the larger one, the five by seven. I think that would do. Now, a greeting um, we could do with... Um, Where's my sentiments? Let's have a see. New baby or... Well, let me just get this. Let, let, let me get this bit in first. Now, I, I have a fancy for putting that into a circular aperture. So let me get my, my circles out and see what size we need. Right. Here's our circles. Um... Perhaps that one. Let's just see. Oh dear. Maybe the next one up. A bit bigger than I hoped for, really. when I thought about circles. I think it's going to have to be that one. Right, let's make our aperture. I'll just have a look at my sentiments a minute first. Uh, I think there's new baby. Oh, there's baby. I don't know where the new is. New. New, new, new. somewhere. Perhaps they're not in this file, perhaps they're in another file. Let's have a look at the other file. Oh, no, that's not it. Ah, oh, here we go. Welcome. Welcome. Baby. Little one, new. Oh, that's baby. 
This is new. Welcome, little one. I got, I got heaps here. I knew I'd find them somewhere. Right. Let's have a look and see what we need. Now, when I choose a sentiment, I want it to go with this, the, you know, the sort of size and uh, weight of the of the image, etc. So let me just do this. Let me cut this first, and then we'll we'll see where we're at. Um, slightly. Oh, do I want it on one side, or do I want it? Welcome, baby. Welcome, little one, that says. Actually, that might do, wouldn't it? I was just wondering whether that would make a, an aperture for this to show. I don't know whether that's going to work. Let me just see. I don't know if that, I don't know if that would work. Do you know what I'm trying to say? What I'm trying to say? As the bottom one's going to be an aperture, I don't think it will. Would it? Oh yes, it might. It actually. If I had that as an aperture like that, with that inside it, let me just see. Let me just see. Oh, I've got the wrong thing here, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it's going to work. Now, this is going to be floating, isn't it? Now, I think I'll... Put it on that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think I'll use this one. I think this will go quite nicely. Welcome, little one. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I was thinking that was going to go on the side, but the fact that it turns out to be such a big... Such a big... Bye! Sorry, my husband's just going out. Have his eyes tested. Um, because it's such a big... Um, aperture, I think, would be better off with that nice big um, sentiment and have it in the in the centre. So let's just see. Cut this out and use a bigger one. Sometimes, if you have um, a plate that, that that's shorter than your aperture, even if you didn't go to the end, you sometimes get a a crease line across. up some of the detritus. Right. There's my aperture. It's going to go onto my card console. This, where's my little doodad? Here it is. That can go on the top like this. Or do I want, do I want to have, um, the welcome gone. Little one. Just wondered if I want to have it the, the colours the other way round. Little one. Sweet. Or do I not want that at all? Let me put some um, foam tape on this one and then we'll see where we're going. I like it in this pale craft colour though, I think that's nice. So many people decide that they want to know the sex of their baby beforehand. The, <laughs> the only time that I thought about it 
um, with my son, who's now 40 odd, um, didn't even have scans in those days. Um, and I was going around the sales before he was born and I thought if I knew what the gender was, I'd, I'd know what to buy. So I finished up having to just get white. But I like to see babies in white anyway. Don't know about you. There we are. And some around the periphery. Gosh, that's... And stop. <laughs> Sorry. I had to have a quick break then. My husband uh, needs to go off for his eye test. I was t taking my car because his car needs to be charged. And um, he shouted out, how do I make it go? How do I make it drive? He hadn't driven my car before and didn't know where the seat moving thing was where he didn't know anything bless him so i just had to go out and give him a quick instruction on how to get the seat back but of course he has to be sitting in the seat um to get the car going um to in order to enable the electric seat to be pushed back so he had a struggle to get in because he wanted the seat further back <laughs> oh dear the chaps who would have who would have them right let's just sort this out i did wonder actually about let me just look how much of that is there i did wonder about just putting i can oh, just putting a bit of um inking behind i might just do that Hope I don't spoil. If I do, if I do make a mistake and I don't like it, I can put another piece of plain white over. There's always a way around. I don't know what I've done with the welcome. That's disappeared from the way of all flesh. But I can always cut another one of those. Right. Um, let me I've got some gummy pan stencils here. A bunch of them. Right. But that's that's actually the top one is the one I was thinking of a few a few letters. Let me imagine what it would look like. A B C kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Let's just and what colour is close to this? In distress. Antique linen. Old paper. Old paper might be, mightn't it? Where's old paper? Here. Looks green there, doesn't it? Let's have a piece of uh, scrap. Just see what the colour looks like on there. On oh, scrap. Uh, I don't think I've got a dedicated brush for old paper. I'm just going to have to use one of my uh, little spares that I haven't used yet. Right, here's a clean one. Let's just see. Ooh, that looks very green, doesn't it? Where's my crib? There it is. Now that looks very green, doesn't it? Let's find the top. Antique linen was my other thought. Let's have a look at this one. That looks nearer, doesn't it? Let me just wipe this brush and dry it off. Okay. It's kind of a combination of the two, isn't it? Oh, not happy with this. Pumice stone is one of my favourites. Let's just see what pumice stone, oh, that looks grey. I do have a pumice stone dedicated brush somewhere. 
There it is. That's the one. That's the chap. Right. One is in business. Right. Now, here's my card base. Here's my stencil. I don't know if there is an ABC anywhere, but it will do there, though. Okay, let's have a little bit of this. I think that's sufficient. I think that will do. That pumice stone, I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, let's stick these on. I think this video is going to take a bit of editing. Just cut my husband's cries for help out. Bless him. Right, stick in the crib. Here is my, like that bit behind. Right, let's stick this one on. There is the canopy. I'm going to glue the very, very edge of this and tuck it behind the crib. That very, very edge. And I'll glue the top of that and I'll glue the bottom of this. Right, let's see if we can get this in position. Welcome, little one. But I've lost the welcome. Oh, no, I haven't. It's here. Right. Knock out all the bits we don't need. Welcome, little one. I believe this one is a Simon Says stamp. Don't actually remember. Is there a tittle in there? There should have been one there, but I can't see it. If I find it, I will add it. And I think we'll have it without. And I will use some micro dots. I don't, don't want to have that. Right, here are some micro dots. Don't know what's happening here. There. Let's have the welcome. Put 
it over here. Welcome. Now little. I just need to pop them onto the sheet to pick up some of these millions of microdots which stick to the back of the sentiment. And you lift it up and stick it onto your project. Welcome. I will find a tittle for that. Little and one. Here's one. You can use these sheets over and over again as long as you try and make sure that you can see where there are some micro dots and just stick your sentiment or whatever it is that you're trying to adhere to your project into a, a space where there are lots of dots left. Little one. There we go. We got there at last. Welcome, little one. It's a sweetie, isn't it? Okay. I think a little editing is going to be required. So I hope that uh, you've actually got somewhere with me, but um, it was a bit of a long journey, wasn't it? So I'll put all the rest of my sentiments away that I didn't use. Uh, but I do think it's always worthwhile having a look and seeing what you do have. If you don't have any alternatives, well, there's only one thing to do. But if you do have alternatives, take a look at them and see which style of, of lettering or whatever looks compatible with the image that you're using. So, day 10, done. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.